Got more parts. Shit is sick. So honestly, I don't know who makes this. This is just, I got it from 3SX because it it actually wasn't the cheapest either but it comes with the brackets so like if you look up reviews on any i looked at dozens of them koyo mishimoto i looked at a bunch of different companies and the reviews on them everybody says the same thing down in like the review things that they don't fit because they don't have the brackets they say that they're an inch too tall everyone says it says it that the radiator is an inch too tall on every review. So 3SX offers this one and it comes with brackets to make it fit. They guarantee you it slides right in. So that's why I got it. Because it comes with the brackets. So it made sense to me to get the one that will literally just bolt right in. Whew! It is sick too. And all the other ones I don't think drop down. Right here they're just flat. So 3SX has theirs drop down and they give you custom brackets. So there's no problem at all. Let's get this one out. Gotta get this junk plastic out of here. I hate doing radiators. They're always a mess. I hope these fans fit. Cause I didn't buy fans. I didn't buy new hoses either. I was just excited about getting the radiator. See, no matter what you do, man, you always make a mess. I've never pulled a radiator out and I at least splattered something. You cock. The fans and everything are still on the old one, but it's probably a good 25% bigger. I gotta take off all this plastic. Pretty where my finger's at. This thing's jacked, dude. It's so brittle. Look. Alright, well, I might as well get rid of the AC condenser. I like, really don't want to. I've always been someone that like wants to keep AC. Cause I mean, who doesn't like AC on a super hot day? You're out, it's 90 degrees, but it's not like this is gonna be my daily driver. But whatever, it'll free up some space, get some more air in there, I guess. All right, so that hose right there is just that one bolt and that'll pop out. The bigger hose over here, I think is two bolts. And then the condenser, I think is just this bolt and that bolt. And then you got those lines that go to that reservoir thing. By the way, you can't just pull these off you can't just pull these lines off or they'll spray free on everywhere. Mine was already drained. Like there must have been a small leak in this or there's a leak somewhere or someone else did it. You can test by pressing this, see if anything sprays out. If it sprays out, you gotta like suck the Freon out. There's like a machine that will suck it out. So I'm gonna leave the compressor on there for now until I can get another belt. Bob Marley just puts you in a good mood. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not. But no woman, no cry right now. My mom used to like Bob Marley. Anytime we were like driving anywhere, listen to Bob Marley. This line right here, I honestly don't know what it's to. It's probably power steering. I'm just gonna wipe it down and paint it real quick. Right there. You see that? I'm just gonna sand this rough shit off. So I'm worried about it looking pretty. It's just it's starting to rust. So before it busts and leaks, 
I'm just gonna throw a coat of paint on it. Alright, I made my own little paint booth here. Got it pretty tucked up in around all the plastic. So, no overspray you should go on anything. Alright, let's get these fans off. Alright, that wasn't that bad actually, only one broke. I'm gonna have to clean these. It's gonna drive me nuts if I don't. I know I didn't spend that a lot of time on these fans, but I plan on getting new fans and a shroud. I want like a full aluminum shroud with I think only one fan because it, I read somewhere on 3SX, if you get the next size up turbos, they hit this fan. That if you get this radiator, since it's thicker, and if you have the upgraded turbos with this thicker radiator, you should only use one fan and they like recommend their brand or whatever. But I want like the one that comes with the whole aluminum shroud and then one fan over to the side. But this, I think this one's actually for the AC, which will work. Cause now that I don't have AC, I can just turn the AC on all the time. I, I don't think this fan turns on unless you have the AC on. So I'll just always hit the AC button. Well, I mean, if it's hot out. Or like on a cool down lap or whatever I'm doing, I can turn the AC on and this fan will kick on. Just extra cooling if I need it. But I don't know if I got bolts. I'm not gonna reuse those old rusted bolts. I was gonna reuse these ones. These ones aren't bad. But I didn't realize that these ones were that bad. Like I'm not gonna reuse this shit. It's all rounded off. Hey, I changed my mind. I'm gonna use bumper hardware and then I'll go get all new hardware for the bumper. I'll go to Fast and All and have them make me all new hardware just for the bumper. So that's all shiny because that's gonna be hardware you can see once the hood's open. Fans are in. Like I said, I'm gonna end up getting a shroud. I like the real like thin aluminum shrouds that they make for this. Literally blood, sweat, and tears have gone into this car now. See those AC lines, or that AC line right there? Get that out while you got this apart. When you don't have the intercooler piping in your way. Woo! That was literally a pain in the dick. All right, I'm just gonna disconnect these lines right here, because they both disconnect. Fuck you. Good thing it's getting painted. Because I've literally have been out here for five hours. Haven't got shit done. But get taking shit apart. So I'll handle all that mess some other day. No, see, look, I'm starting to fucking start cleaning everything, and I'm gonna be here for a week wiping down the whole goddamn engine bay. All right, I'm done. All right, I need to fucking quit doing this. Hey, I got the turbo canister out. See, this is what I'm talking about, that I just want to start washing shit. Like, I can't sit here and not want to do this. 
When you do all this work, you don't want to sit here with this shit all dirty afterwards, you know? I, I gotta quit, because the engine needs to come out eventually. So I can do all this while the engine's gone. The overflow tank's not even gonna fit with this pipe. Let's go right there. Look at this. You can, like, can't have anything with this intercooler piping. It's supposed to bolt right there. I cannot get it back far enough. All these fans fit. Damn, that's sexy. Now I gotta upgrade the oil cooler, right? Like, I can't not do it now. Motherfucker. It's money. I don't understand why it's teetering like that. It doesn't want to line up. Really? Come on, man. Dude, there's gotta be something underneath this, right? The more and more I work on this car, the more and more I start to think it's been hit up front. There's so much weird shit that is happening up front. I think this is higher. There's no way I'm gonna be able to show you on camera, but. What I really think is that this isn't in the right spot on this bracket. Exactly what it is. Look at the team is around and show you. Exactly three quarters right to the middle of the stud. Was it sixteenth off? Alright, the battery died. I got it. You can see over here the gap. Got all the wires put back in, I gotta do put the hoses on. And that's pretty much it. Something needs to go that way for me to fit the overflow tank. This is a little trick that I do. I always have this piece of hose that I kept for I don't even know how long. No matter what car I work on. Just so you can fill it up faster. Cause right there you just gotta sit forever. Right here you can at least fill up the radiator, plug that in, and then put the little little doohickey thing on there. Little pressure drainer, whatever you call it. This core is less than a, than two gallons. All right, now you gotta start it and let the thermostat open up and the pump run and all that fun shit. So I don't have a battery in here. super weird like I would think that radiator would be more than a gallon and a half I mean the car probably takes three gallons right because the engine was still full of antifreeze it's not like I pulled the thermostat out all right end of the video see you guys in the next one I got a lot more stuff coming it's Thursday so it'll probably be next week we'll come out and do something though this weekend Maybe we'll take this thing out. I'm willing to die for this shit. I'm ready to flip and to end up in prison the rest of my life for this shit. So my mom ain't want me, she got in the bush and I end up surviving this shit. And if I want a son and I ain't got the money, I'll probably be robbing this shit. Don't know how much I cry for this shit. Said I'm willing to ride for this shit. You know murder's my hobby inside of my closet, it's a bunch of dead bodies and shit.